Toward the end, we had no money at all. You don't know the terrible feeling when the Kentucky Colonel stops smiling down at you. Well, next time you run away, why don't you take the American plan? Meals are included. <laughs> what did you eat anyway? One night, we had this incredible meal. A pot roast, mashed potatoes, gravy, coffee, jello, and a two-hour sermon on the evils of booze. You ate at a rescue mission. One night, we had Chateaubriand. At a rescue mission? No, at a really nice restaurant. See, we gave this guy 50 cents for his doggy bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're still hungry, there's some banana cream pie in the fridge. There was. I ate it. work on him. Thanks. Barbie, when you go up to hand your test in, just kind of lean over his shoulder and let your hair tickle his ear. His hair tickle his ear. <laughs> what else has she got to work with? Uh, listen, I gotta go check out the football team. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Anytime. <laughs> Julie. Careful you don't shake something loose, kid. Uh huh. Uh, what do you want him to do? Make this place off limits? Who, me? Little Mary Poppins? I've got to talk to you. Now, uh, Beth Randall says you're on the pill. She saw some in your purse. Really? Are you on them? No, no, those were just aspirins I spilled in the library. <laughs> Why did she think they were the pill? I told her they were. <laughs> <laughs> Little dummy, don't you realize what you're doing? It's all over school. Ha! Fantastic, I knew it would work. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my little sister. All she wanted was a three-minute kiss and a couple of I love yous. I still do, but you gotta hook the fish first. Anything I can do? Wish you could. Look, if it's any help, when I get a problem, I put on an Elton John record, get into a hot bath with a double cheeseburger. <laughs> Life's really simple for you, isn't it? You know, it's a whole new world with Paul. And he's so fun. But I think there's a lot more to it than that. We have these great long talks. What do you talk about? Life, love, music. Poetry, future, snakes. <laughs> snakes? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Did you know that Paul has a daughter? Really? How old? 20. <laughs> She's married, lives in California. Wouldn't that be a little awkward? Being younger than your own daughter? I mean, she could babysit you. She's also pregnant. I could be a grandmother before I could vote. Oh, would you do me a favor and... Hi, Barbara. So what? <laughs> Look, sis... Don't I... worry. Uh... I lost him. 
You got him. I'm not gonna go live with the apes. <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> go ahead, uh, go sing with, um, what's his face? Barbara! You mean you're gonna come down and hear me sing? Oh, I want you there. Uh, I, I don't think I can. Barbara, if you weren't there, I couldn't sing. Well, just go and sing, okay? Sing. No way. Come on. You're my only sister, and your love means more to me than my first chance to sing. More than Doug. Okay. Okay what? Okay, don't sing. <laughs> don't sing? After all the tender love I've just expressed for you? Oh, yeah, that wasn't love. <coughs> okay, kid. You're gonna come down and hear me sing, or aren't you? All right, all right, I'll come hear you sing. <laughs> you always get your way. <laughs> you see, Ma, you just gotta know how to handle her. <laughs> well, just think, I have to say goodbye to all this. Goodbye, chair. Goodbye, desk. Goodbye, Barbara. <laughs> goodbye, window. Gee, I'm flattered you put me before the window. <laughs> Don't you have an ounce of sentiment in you, you little twerp? I mean, I am moving out. This is real. I know. I mean, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna come to bed and be here alone without my sister. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna look over here, and you're not gonna be here. And I'm gonna think to myself, it's about time. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, sister face. Yeah, well, I'm gonna miss you too. Yeah, well, I'm gonna miss you more. I mean, ever since I can remember, you've always been my best pal. I know, in a year or so, when I move out, I can come live with you. Aw, oh, sis, forget it. <laughs> oh, hey, I almost forgot. What? Something I have loved and cherished for years. Now, I thought Peter Frampton was taller than that. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to think. <laughs> Why? Don't you remember? You were always yanking Tutu Bear's arms off. I never did any such thing. Yes, you did. I mean, let me tell you one thing, kid. As a child, you had the delicate touch of a sumo wrestler. <laughs> you yanked off Tutu Bear's arms so many times. I did not. Did too. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Didn't. Did. Nope. Yep. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> Barbara, I am so glad that we are older now and can discuss these things with such maturity. Yeah, right. You think I'm mature enough to give Tutu Bear a goodbye hug? Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Tutu Bear. <laughs> Do you know we almost sent you and your big toe to the delivery room just now? The delivery room? Barbara, I'm not due for seven weeks. You sure? Yeah. I'm going the distance, believe me. Yeah. Besides, I couldn't do that to you. Tomorrow is your day, and Mark's day, nobody else's. Yeah, well, you know me, always overreacting. I'm just, uh, I'm scared. Join the crowd. Not you. Me. Julie, I'm gonna be a wife. I'm gonna be a mother. <sighs> do you remember when we were young? Yeah. 22 years old. Where'd it all go? <laughs> We're women. Oh. <sighs> it's funny, you know, but I don't feel any different. Yeah, well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember we used to spend hours in here talking? And arguing? <laughs> right here in this old room. Oh, it's a great old room. It's home. Tutu Bear! <laughs> I kept him for you. Yeah, you probably because you always felt guilty about pulling his little arms off. I never pulled his arms off. <laughs> Once, maybe. Mm. Actually, I just held his arms and you pulled his body <laughs> off. Oh, it's funny, isn't it, Barb? It doesn't really seem to matter anymore. I love you, kid. Julie, I love you. <laughs>